Hey guys, thanks for watching TFB TV. I'm Joel with the Precision Rifle Network. Can you build a long range precision rifle for around $1,000? Find out today. I gotta be honest, this build was not all that easy. James Reeves uh, came to me and he said, I've got a great idea. Let's build a precision rifle for a thousand bucks. And I laughed at him. I, I just said, it can't be done. Uh, I don't even want to try. It's going to be garbage. So I started looking into this, trying to figure out where I could get the parts from, from cheaper. Maybe I could get some from used, that sort of thing. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you that we got this entire system um, for less than a thousand dollars. That's, that's not the case it is right around a thousand dollars okay guys um, there are a few things you're going to want that are going to make it go over a thousand dollars if you're looking to use a rifle like this for competition but i was able to get pretty darn close and i like the parts that we put into this rifle so let me explain the process all right so i went and i searched places like gun broker and sniper's hide trying to find the absolute best deal i could find on a remington 700 308 barreled action okay you can find them for used uh, in those places sometimes for as cheap as i found a few that were around 250 dollars uh, where the barrels were almost sh completely shot out um, on up to like 550 dollars for guys who just you know they they bought them and then just decided they didn't want them and tried to sell them right away <clears throat> so i was able to find uh you know this barreled action would be in the 400 dollar price range okay i just took right in the middle of that, cut it right in half, found a $400 uh, option. And so this barreled action is a Remington 700 308, uh, pretty much bone stock. You can obviously see I've got a, a, a break on the front here, uh, which would be an additional price. But uh, the barreled action, we're calling that 400 bucks, okay? And then we've got uh, the KRG Bravo chassis system. Um, this is an excellent low dollar chassis system. These things can be found for $350 in a lot of places. I highly recommend uh, Hunt's Long Range out of Missouri. I'm gonna drop some links uh, so you can find out more information about them if you're interested in the chassis. Um, these chassis are about 350 bucks, all right? And then the glass, what we're looking at here is the new Vortex Diamondback Tactical. All right, now these can be found depending on whether you want first focal plane or second focal plane. The second focal plane models can be, can be found for about $250. This is the first focal plane model and it is uh, right around $350. All right, so now some of you might notice I didn't talk about the trigger necessarily. The trigger came with this barreled action so I was not including that in my price. So if you're doing the math, $350 for the chassis, $350 for the optic, $400 for the barreled action, which included the trigger. We're looking at $1,100. Obviously, I'm just over that $1,000 price range, but you can get this optic for $250 if you prefer the second focal plane. So take $100 off of that. We're right down to our $1,000 mark. So that being said, you can build one of these rifle systems for right around $1,000 which isn't too bad if you're looking at getting into the Precision Rifle Series style of competitions, uh, wanting to just get your feet wet in long range rifle shooting. Um, the 308 barreled action from Remington 700 is a great place to start. Heck, you guys probably have one of these sitting in your safe right now that you hardly use, or maybe you use it all the time. Maybe you're just wanting to kind of upgrade what you've already got to shoot long range or to get into competition. This is a great way to go. KRG Bravo chassis from Hunt's Long Range, 350 bucks. Uh, you know, throw a decent, usually first focal plane optic uh, with, some, with some magnification and some exposed turrets on there. Um, you're pretty much good to go. You notice I didn't have a bipod on here because that would have pushed me several hundred dollars past our thousand dollar price point. So we're just gonna run it off of a front bag here today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing zeroed, and I'm going to give you some, uh, some B-roll shots of shooting this thing on steel, most likely out to 600 yards today. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we got this thing dialed in now. We're going to go ahead and stretch it out. We'll start at the 200-yard line, <clears throat> and we'll move it out to uh, potentially 600, definitely 500. Let me go ahead and get my dope punched in here. Two hundred impact. 
300 impact comes 400 yards and this is where our wind is going to come into play we've got a switching seven mile per hour wind up there it's going anywhere from say 10 o'clock to two o'clock right now it's pretty dead i'm going to hold straight up see what we get 400 yards impact Go 500 it's coming from the right right now I'm gonna hold a favor to the right side impact and let's go out to 600 Miss. Missed off to the right. Miss. Missed off to the right. Impact. Took me a couple to get dialed on there. It had switched going from, it was started out going right to left at the 400 and 500 and then it switched and it was going left to right down there. I couldn't tell exactly. So there's a follow-up shot after an impact at six. Impact. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, no issues whatsoever hitting targets out to 600 yards with our, uh, our pieced together precision rifle today. Again, this was a used uh, Remington 700 barreled action in 308. came with the trigger. I put the muzzle brake on, which the muzzle brake would end up pushing you well over that, that $1,000 uh, mark. Those are usually in the uh, you know $150 to $200 range for the muzzle brake. I did not include that in the pricing. But again, we've got, you know, say $400 for a used barreled action, which will get the job done. Uh, we've got the KRG Bravo chassis, which costs right around $350. The first focal plane edition of the Vortex Diamondback Tactical will run you $350. The second focal plane model will run you $250. So it's very easy to see. You can get into this game for about a thousand bucks. No issues whatsoever. And um, this would be considered a semi-custom uh, rifle and it gets the job done. So guys, thanks for watching today. Hit up our sponsor Ventura Munitions. They make these videos possible by providing ammunition and support to us here at TFB TV. Also consider supporting us through Patreon uh, with a monthly donation. That, uh, that gets you entered into some crazy cool drawings for some great gear from other companies. We sure do appreciate all the support. Hit us up again soon for another great video from TFB TV.